um, I'm done with my grocery shopping and I'm unpacking each item this comes wrapped so they don't give it in clothes bag this is uh, onion these are all stitched one this one I got when uh, buying a bag of onion so I kept it and I will use it every time here also I have a bag to be unpacked garlic this is um, tomato it's time to wash these bags I'm in my garden now um, I'm just a beginner in gardening so I don't know how everything will work these are Malabar spinach this was actually a pot with aloe vera in which I uh, sown some seeds this is a tomato um, it's, it's the first time I'm I'm having success in growing tomato but I haven't seen the fruits yet fingers crossed I don't know how it will turn out and uh, there's also a creeper um, it's kind of a melon it also has got some flowers I have tried uh, pollination as well and uh, some seedlings of uh, around this this pot is uh, adenium and it also has got some tomato plants and uh, some kind of uh, melon I don't know what um, I don't know its name yesterday the weather was too dusty and windy so this leaf got damaged and this one it's a kind of uh, I think it's palsemia, it's a flowering plant and this one I don't know the name if someone knows please mention in the comment box two onions sprouted in my kitchen I planted them and now this is the condition here that's also another tomato That is uh, what we call panikurka, Indian borage. I think this is uh, bitter gourd, I'm not sure. Uh, amaranthus. And this is my compost I kept under sun for drying. Actually this is uh, a bit chunky, a lot of big pieces are there. I'll uh, sieve it out later on. This is... Uh, this is the compost which I have already sieved and I have a few seeds here in this pot yesterday it was it was so dusty and windy that my floor is full of soil and only aloe vera has shown some significant growth here see this one had lots of portulaca but um, like I have said in my previous video on composting uh, that I think it's because I mixed the unfinished compost with the potting soil that uh, my seedlings were, my, I mean uh, these cuttings were dying. Um, I think uh, the roots were getting eaten by the composting microbes. So what I did is I later on changed the soil in most of the um, pots. I bought uh, two packets of 15 liter soil this time I was thinking uh, I'll mix uh, sand my homemade compost and uh, cocoa peat that I get from the supermarket but it didn't seem working and some of my indoor houseplant collections this is peace lily 
snake plant this one I was uh, trying a mini garden that's also a snake plant just recently I replanted them uh, all these stock plants from a bigger pot into our smaller pots like this this is money planted water some of the leaves are getting damaged I'm also in the learning phase this is a uh, store boat Fidonia I bought this from uh, Ace this is another succulent watering this plant is really tricky if you're a beginner it can easily die if you're too much interested in gardening um, it happened with me that I tend to overwater it and so this time I'm trying to be more careful with this this is Arkeba I'm in my second balcony now this um, I have tried the macrame notes and I find it really beautiful and I'm planning to make more I have more of these pots I'm going to hang more like this this is portulaca this is one of the good and big surviving plant I have here our aloe vera cactus more aloe veras once in a week I pop this into the washing machine and Hope you all enjoyed watching this video and thank you so much.